morning, everybody. It's Monday. It's also, get this, you still got a chance to join us. It's also Hot Melt Sprint Monday. We're Melting Monday as one of the groups. We've got a little private group going for about a thousand people who want to be part of this Hot Melt Sprint. And if you want to join us, go over to savingdinner.com forward slash sprint and we will and be a part of us. Sign up for Leanne's emails and we're doing it. We are doing it today. And if you if you get signed up and you go over to the to the to our private group, you gotta go ask to join the group because we're getting hundreds every hour right now it's kind of crazy but if you join our group and it's going to be so simple it's so simple we're doing a four minute workout we're going up and down our flights we're doing steps if you don't have the stairs in your house you can step up on something and march around the living room we're getting we're moving we're moving our upper body and this morning i got on my scale and i weighed and then I took my scale and put it in a brown paper bag. And then I wrote my measurements on the brown paper bag. And I'm not going to weigh until I get back from Tennessee next week. Yeah, I'm going to Tennessee on Sunday to see my sister and to go see, uh, go to the parole hearing for my nephew. So please say a prayer for Benjamin. And if you can, drop him a little note and tell, tell him you're proud of him. Cause he's been clean and sober for four years and you know, you can stop the video after it's over, go back and look at the address and send him a little, little note of encouragement, but we're going to his parole hearing. It's going to be next Monday about, well, about it's in central time. So we'll see, we'll see. So keep him in your thoughts and prayers, but this hot melt sprint, you go print it out. It's, it's 17 pages. It is, it's easy. You make up a pot of soup. You have some greens, you have a protein and little smoothies, little smoothies. So many smoothies, Leanne's prescribed for me, many smoothies because I can't do a big smoothie. It's just too much, but we'll see. And I weighed and measured and bagged my scale and took a picture of it. And, and now this is the fun part. I took a picture of my scale in the bag in front of a Bible verse, in front of a Bible verse. On, and you just have to see it. You just have to see it. It's just, it's all about this. We're doing this to love ourselves. We're doing this to love ourselves. So Justin just sent a little, little, uh, a message to me on Slack and he said that the Rubber Scrub a Bogo is live. So we've got a Rubber Scrub a Bogo. What else we got going on here? We have um, calendars, get your calendars. And we also have that Fly Lady Complete Cleaning System is $93 off and that's going to be ending before October. And you know, here it is the ninth day of September. You got a couple of weeks and get it while you can. This is the best deal in the house, the best deal we've ever had. So for $99 and 50 cents, you get all of our cleaning, our great, uh, all, oh, oh my goodness. We got good news that cargo ship that turned over and off the coast of Georgia, they found the people that were missing. They were inside the cargo ship. Thank the Lord. So we got good news this morning. Good news. So we're going to have some fun today. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to bless our homes. And the first thing we're going to do right here, I've let everybody get in here. And, and I want to think, 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 Marla. I want to thank everybody who has become one of our supporters. It means the world to me because it helps us to help others. 
it really does. It is just amazing. So those of you who have become supporters, you've touched my heart by doing that. You've touched it. Now there's a, should be a button on here somewhere. I can't see it cause it's, but maybe you'll see how to become a supporter and it's just really sweet of you. And we'll, you're going to be helping me figure out what we're going to do for fun and our little supporter, supporter stuff. So I've got the little dice that Robert made for me. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? This is just the cutest thing ever. And we're going to play our game. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our bedrooms and we're going to pull the sheets off our bed and get them in the washing machine. Because this is sort of something we do away from, you know, you can pull the sheets off in two minutes, but you can't put them back on into, or I can't. You might be able to, but I can't. But here we go. I'm setting the timer and I'll tell you a little story about how I learned how to change the sheets. Many years ago, when I was 10 years old, mom and daddy got a divorce and we went to spend the summer with daddy. And daddy had been in the army and daddy knew how to make hospital corners. And every time I make a hospital corner, I hear my daddy teaching me how, it's probably one of the few memories I have of him, teaching me how to make hospital corners on my bed. So I love to change the sheets on my bed. <laughs> How cool is that? You, you already did the sheets, Nada. That's great. So this is, um, I can't wait for you to see all my measurements. I'm not ashamed of them. It's who I am. What you see is what you get with me. But maybe next week you'll see a little less of me. <laughs> but this hot melt sprint is going to be fun. I, I mean, Leanne and I talked about it this morning. We went to dinner last night. I had Mexican food. And, um, I had something different that I usually don't have. I usually like fajitas and stuff like that, but I had a beef chop. Who knew what a beef chop was? It is a really, a really thin T-bone steak. I mean, a quarter inch thin T-bone steak. And it had butterfly, six butterfly shrimp. And it was so tasty. And I watched Robert every step of the way. I, I matched him bite for bite pretty much. I had to peel the shrimp so they were kind of messy. But you know what? I, Robert didn't like the tomatoes in his fajitas. So his roasted, oh, there goes the timer, y'all. Get your sheets in the washing machine. I'll give you a minute or two and then we'll start it up again. But wow, it was, and they put rice and beans on the plate and I knew it was coming with rice and beans and that I was not going to eat the rice and beans. So I, sh and it had a salad with avocado and, and pica de gallo on the plate. So I took the roasted tomatoes from Robert's plate and he had put them on a separate plate and added my salad to it. And I chopped up the avocados and it made it avocado dressing for my salad. So I had steak, shrimp, and my salad. And it was lovely. And I play a game with, with chips. I really play a game. And see, last night was the night before we started our hot melt sprint today. And I play a game with my chips. I take a chip, I put my put it on a napkin, and I break it into six pieces. And I can have salsa, but I eat it on little tiny chips. So I had three of those. And that was pretty much the only carbs other than the tomatoes. That, and some a few carbs in the in the avocado, but hey, it was good. It was all good. So we're gonna roll the dice right here. I got it. I got all my little tiles, my weekly home blessing tiles. They're all numbered, and I'm gonna roll the dice. Here we go. We're doing number six. Where is number six? We're grabbing our feather dusters, folks. Grab your feather dusters and we're going to feather dust. Now, don't let your perfectionism stand in the way of you dusting because 
Some people say you need to sweep before you dust or sweep after you. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Just do it. Just do it. So timer's going. We're doing two minute, two minutes. No. And here's another thing. We're in a no whining zone. Did you know that? You can do anything for 15 minutes except whine. So we're not whining. We're not whining today. And please share our videos because you help a lot of people when you do. So, where was I? What was I talking about? Let me think. Oh, uh, dinner last night. Now, if you know they're going to serve you too much food when you go out to eat, and we eat out a lot, but this week we're not. We're not eating out. I've got to cook Robert something. But the main thing here is no that they're going to give you too much food. We're trying to reduce our intake, shrink our tummies, and, and melt off the fat. Melt off the fat. So this is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you have some, you can get some bento boxes on Amazon. You can get 10 of them for not even uh, like $6 or something like that. Take a little brown bag with you with your bento box in it and then that way you can fill up your bento box for lunch for tomorrow with half of the food that's on your plate it's a great way to reduce your intake I've watched Robert where I would eat a whole sandwich he would eat a half a sandwich so matching how a skinny person eats is fun. It's fun to watch them. It really is. And they have conversation and they put their forks down. It's kind of fun to watch a skinny person eat. <laughs> Believe it or not. Okay, there goes our timer. We feather dusted around the house. Ready? Are you ready? What's a bento box? A bento box is just a, a segmented little bowl with a lid on it that's all it is it's just a segmented bowl with a lid and you can put them in the freezer easy they stack and uh, it's like a tv dinner tray that's funny skinny person watch i watched a skinny person and a heavy person not talking about me and Roder, robert but in the table next to us yesterday i watched i watched it not in an ugly way, but I just paid attention. I can hear really well. So I was listening to what they ordered and it was quite interesting. So here we go. Number five. And what is our number five? I want you to grab your mop. Leanne did mopping yesterday. Grab your mop. And we're going and wet this mop cloth. Just Put, just stick it under the faucet and get it wet and squeegee it out. And then let's hit the floors running. And you got two minutes. We're going to mop really fast. Leanne did this yesterday, but she didn't do it with a wet mop. So she's going to try it with a wet mop today. We'll see how she does. With a, a wet mop and just get it done as fast as you can. It saves a step. It stay, saves the sweet, sweeping step. Somebody find a link on Amazon that I've sent out for bento boxes. It's kind of a cool little you stack of 10. And you can do the same thing at your own house with your leftovers. You can make pre-made TV dinners. If those people remember what TV dinners are. Little entrees with stuff in it. And then add a salad tat and you're good to go. You take one meal that was enough to feed four people and you break it into pieces because we get served too much dinner at the at our dinner tables so we got one minute left on mopping some people some skinny people do skip meals yep but Robert doesn't he has breakfast he has lunch and he has dinner and nothing in between. So 40 seconds. <sighs> mm. 
Now, the picture I took of my scale in this brown paper bag, I had this beautiful, beautiful, that Liz gave me, shower curtain. And it's covered in Bible verses. And the Bible verse, when I took the picture, I noticed the Bible verse. And it was almost as if God was saying, doing this hot melt sprint is loving yourself. Because love is all there is. It's, uh, I don't have the verse in front of me, but it's from Corinthians. And if you join the group, you can see the picture. There you go. I got the dice. Let's roll it. You ready? Set. Number four. Number four. Number four is, this was an easy one. This is an easy one. We're going to declutter magazines and catalogs. I took a catalog to Leanne's house the other night. I got rid of a catalog already. And I've already done this yesterday because I took them off of my coffee table yesterday before Nate, Amy Lacey's brother, got here. So we're going to set the timer for two minutes. This won't take two minutes. If you don't have any catalog catalogs or magazines, then declutter a hot spot. Declutter a hot spot. Yep. Hot spots make our house look messy. When we take care of the hot spots, we it makes everything all all better. Everything looks clean when we declutter those hot spots. Hot spots are the piles we make when we walk in the door. They are the piles. And Debbie is right. This is what the hot melt sprint is all about, is finding what works for you. Leanne has learned me. She has learned what works for me. She knows I can't hardly stomach anything in the morning. I'm not a morning eater. I just don't like food in the morning. I don't get hungry until about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And sometimes I just totally forget to eat. I mean totally forget to eat. Uh, let's see, what does somebody say about I love the idea of putting my second set of sheets under the mat. It's a great idea, if I do say so myself. But thank you, Donna, for reminding me. People need two sets of sheets for every bed in their house. And you don't have to have a linen closet for sheets and towels because you have just enough, not this overflowing amount. Not the overflowing amount. And it works out really well. You st store them flat between the mattress and the box spring. And it doesn't take up any space at all. No space at all. So we got 14 seconds going. We're decluttering magazines. We've done four things almost. Four things. I got the dice ready because it's going off now. There you have it. So take a drink, take a drink of your water. Please share our video. We make doing your weekly home blessing fun. And when you make it fun, it gets done. It's all part of, of being in a group. That's why we started the, the hot and melt challenge group because we wanted to lift each other up. And it's kind of fun. I love what everybody posts. It makes me happy. I, I use it as a reward for doing my flights. I get to go look at the group. So we're going to roll the dice again. It's a two. It's a two. We're on a roll, aren't we? This is a good one. Grab your trash. Grab your trash can in the kitchen and let's fill it up with all the trash in the rest of the house. You got it? Let's keep getting everything in the rest of the house, but gather up all the trash in the one place, and since you got your shoes on, you can take it straight outside. How cool is that? How cool is that? So we're emptying the trash, folks. So let's get it done. So Leanne and I were talking yesterday about this club we've been a part of since we were kids. Yep. 
it's a club that our parents, mainly it was my grandmother because mama didn't cook. But at my grandmother's house, we were for, and Patty, see if you remember this, we were forced into the clean plate club. And I remember Patty and Leanne did not like fried okra. And I just told them how good it was. And then they joined the cl clean plate club. And, you know, we can still clean our plates if we'll brown bag that bento box with us to the restaurant or at the dinner table and just, you know, only put what you... Leanne teaches us how to do this. A piece of meat the size of a deck of cards. I don't have a deck of cards here. The size of a deck of cards. And then a salad and a veggie. There you got it. Keep it small portions, small portions, small portions. Listen to that. You know, changing your habits just a little at a time. We do not have to waste food. Granny always told me, any food you throw in the trash can, any food that you throw in the trash can is like throwing dollar bills down the drain, dollar bills in the trash. So don't do that. Don't do that. I forgot to set the timer. Anyway, I'll go five seconds up. So be sure and take your trash out to the trash can and then put a new trash bag back in your trash can in the kitchen because you don't want the kids throwing nasty trash into your clean trash can. And I keep my trash bags, I keep three or four of them in the bottom of my trash can because I don't throw wet trash in my trash can. I don't do it. Just do not do it. Okay. We're going to roll the dice again. We need a one or a three. One or a three. <laughs> one or a three. We got a one. Look at us. We got a one. And number one is grab your carpet sweeper or your vacuum. I just got the greatest testimonial about our carpet sweeper. Let's get our floors vacuumed. Get our floors vacuumed. Carpet sweep, it does better than a vacuum cleaner or any vacuum cleaner I've ever had. So I'm setting the timer. There we go. And let's do our floors. Here's our carpet sweeper. The testimonial I just got is the lady took on the job of cleaning her chapel and it's a 24 hour chapel. So she couldn't have, she would lug her vacuum cleaner, her heavy vacuum cleaner. And it was hard to get out of the car and she would lug it to the chapel and she'd take her feather duster and between her feather duster and her vacuum, she would clean the chapel. Now, there was always somebody coming in. So she decided to clean the chapel at three in the morning, three in the morning. And she's hugging, lugging this heavy vacuum cleaner at three in the morning in the dark to the chapel. So her husband suggested, why don't you take the carpet sweeper? It's little, it does a good job. And so she started taking the carpet sweeper and she was just blown away about how wonderful it was and easy to use. And she had a secondary use for it in case somebody broke bad in the chapel. But God would get them. God would get them. <laughs> Trash is done. Y'all are so good. I am so proud of you. Wow. This is great. Just keep... The carpet sweeper is really great on pet hair. If you've got pets, you need one of these things. You really need one. I didn't know how good it was. I really had no clue until I put it, I just vacuumed a rug and then I put my carpet sweeper on it and it got a pile of hair like this. I was just blown away when I first started using it. 
Yep, that's a coupon code for picks. Okay, we got one more to go. Look here. Look at what you're getting done. And I, we're supposed to roll a three. Are we going to get a three? We got a four. We got another four. Got a one. There's the three. We got the three. And what do you think it's going to be? Yep. It's our favorite. Grab a wet purple rag and a dry one. And let's do our windows and mirrors. Yep. Let's do our windows and mirrors. And you're going to be blown away about how great your house looks with just this 15 minutes of cleaning. 15 minutes. I'm setting the timer now. Ready, set. Even the kids can help you do this because you're not using chemicals. Go. Purple rag. Purple rag. Thank you all so much for being a part of this. This is just too much fun on a Monday morning. And oh, I forgot the book. So I'll talk to you about what day we're in. We are in day nine. Because I remember that's when we're starting the hot melt challenge. Go to savingdinner.com forward slash sprint. And you can sign up for the daily emails about the hot melt sprint. Yep. Day nine. While, while you're doing your windows, I'm going to talk to you about Chaos to Clean book. Let's add decluttering to your morning routine. Let's try a five-minute room rescue or a 27 fling boogie. Getting rid of clutter is going to make doing your weekly home blessing much easier. And let me go to the last page. To make, if you make decluttering fun, it will get done. Clutter, clutter everywhere and not a place to sit. Well, let's clean off, let's clean off our, um, let's clean off our tables because we got too much clutter there, too much. We can do this, folks. We really can. And Leanne and I are so excited about this next book and this hot melt sprint. We're in zone two this week, our kitchens. So zone two and we're, doing our before bed routine is the habit of the month and we're going to do this hot melt sprint on zone two every month to keep it's just to give us a, a rev up on our metabolism and we're mixing things up just mixing things up and that's what's fun that's what's fun so join us on the hot melt sprint at savingdinner.com forward slash sprint and you'll see everything to print out. You can jump in right where we are today. It's not too late. It is not too late. And if if you want to wait to get started tomorrow, that's fine. You just go till next next uh, Monday for your, for your sprint to end. So I may do a, an extra day because I'm traveling and won't be home until Tuesday. So everybody, have a great day. Yeah, have a really wonderful day. And I do believe I may end this, end this with just a, a little bit of Eric Dodge. And, and thank you for being one of our followers. That's just so sweet of y'all to join and be a follower. That's just precious. So let me, um, oh no, that's not what I want. I do this every time. Go back, go to the menu, have to talk myself through it, go... One of my dreams I was hoping some magical Get started today. Come me. But I got the magic wand. There's no better This day I've been given is my dream.
can be pitiful or powerful. got a little present for those of you who stuck around to the end. Guess what's back in stock? Our office in a bag. Yep. They're back in stock. So get yours ordered now. Uh, we have four colors. Look at this. We have red, black, and blue, and purple. And it's the prettiest purple ever. So get your office in a bag ordered. We've been out of them for several months now. So get them ordered. And I'll see you over on the Hot Melt Sprint Group if you're a part of it. Talk to you later. Love you all. You just don't know how much. We can do this, folks. We really can. <laughs>